So you've heard me talk about grip, alignment and posture being absolutely key determinants of path and we all know that path is absolutely essential, correct path, if we were to deliver a square club head to the ball. So let's have a little look at posture. Good to look at yourselves in a mirror. If you want to get some photographs taken of yourselves in terms of your posture when you're set up, uh, you can email them to me. I'm always happy to have a look and uh, any comments at all, um, uh, ask at the bottom and I'll, I, I answer every single comment that's out there. So let's just have a little look at posture. So what you'll see a lot of people do is that they tend to sit on their heels. Okay? When they sit on their heels, the back tends to be a little bit too straight. Shoulders get a bit hunched because they need then to try and move forward. And the issues you've got there is that as soon as they start to try and swing, path is corrupted, balance is difficult, there's no stability in the legs, there's nothing dynamic about the posture that is also going to keep you relatively free of injury because when you're rounded in your shoulders it's very very difficult to get the level of rotation that you're looking to achieve so people get rounded in their shoulders what happens the chin drops down when the chin drops down very difficult to get rotation in the shoulders you tend to move off the ball okay so straight away we've lost stability in the lower part of the body so you can see just how important it is to get a good dynamic posture and I see lots of golf, uh, golfers who might be six foot two six foot three but one of the things that amazes me some of them are, have really got the posture of somebody about five foot nine you know and you look at Rory McIlroy there's a guy who I think he's five foot nine five foot ten but when you see him set up to the ball he looks about six foot two. It's hugely dynamic. And because of that, he gets tremendous rotation in the upper half of the body. Lots of torque in the lower part of the body and resistance here. And he's just like a coiled spring waiting to release on the downswing. So a massively, massively powerful level of rotation. And that only comes about from a good posture. So let's just have a look how you develop a good posture. Well, as you'll have seen before, I talk about going in with the right hand to set the club head square to target. Then building the left hand on the club, shaft is nicely over the ball, so I've effectively aimed the shaft towards the target. Build the right hand, set the stance, and here you can see I've got a good posture. I'm tipping from my hip, my chest is expanded a little, and I've got my chin off my chest. Tony, how do I get that posture? This is what I would like you to do. And work on it on the range, and it will become really just routine in your shot making, but it's very, very important. A great routine to follow to make sure that you get a good dynamic posture is this. Stand there, upright, feet shoulder width apart, Lee, knees very lightly flexed okay very lightly flexed expand your chest gently so that your shoulders are back pick a spot above your eye line very important that it's above your eye line I'll explain why in a second and from that position there what I want you to do is to tip from the hip now this is not tipping from the hip okay that is simply dropping your shoulders what I want you to do is to find your hip joints which are here below the belt line your backside goes out the chest goes forward and the hands hang naturally now you can see there that's a far more dynamic position and because I was looking above eye level as I tip and I expand my chest you can see that my chin all of them <laughs> my chin stays off my chest so I've now left plenty of room for when my left shoulder comes under my chin okay so absolutely critical to get this dynamic posture now why is that well we know that we need to rotate to roughly 90 degrees so here's my rotation to 90 degrees I'm really feeling strong my hips have rotated to roughly 45 so there's rotation in the upper part of the body and there's a degree of resistance in the lower part of the body 
Very hard to achieve that if I'm not dynamically set. Now what's happening, having expanded my chest, tip from the hip, chin off my chest, as I rotate, there's less pressure on my lower lumbar. If I was to be slumped and try and rotate, there's far more pressure put here on the lower lumbar. So we want to try and make sure that we can rotate freely. So you'll see here now, I rotate, and I can feel there that the weight is, or the pressure is inside my right foot, inside my back foot, okay? I can feel that there. I'm nicely loaded, okay? The weight's on the balls of my feet. I'm not sitting back on my heels because I've got good angles, okay? You can see I've got good angles in the back, nice light flex in the knees, and I'm in a good position now to be able to rotate and get myself in a good position to attack the ball. Now, of course, what do I need to do? I need to make sure I maintain my spine angle. So as I'm now rotating through to the ball, I'm looking to make sure that I maintain my spine angle through impact. Very important. We see so often people get here, they come through, they rise, okay, as a consequence. And what happens is they lose height and that has an impact on ball striking. So once you've got the posture that I'm asking you to adopt, I really want you to work on this drill. Rotation back, club across the chest, feel yourself that weight on the inside of your back foot, inside of the right foot for right handers, and I can feel, I can feel it here, the resistance, okay? So I'm really good. My right pocket's gone behind me, and I'm now in a terrific position here now to attack the ball. So from there, as I rotate back, you can see there I'm maintaining my spine angle, okay? And as I rotate, I clear my left hip and my right knee heads towards the target, okay? So very difficult to do any of that without a strong, dynamic, stable posture. So really work on that. You're going to see a dramatic impact on your ball striking. And importantly, you're going to see better health for your back. So you're going to see longevity in your game. Let me know how you get on. Comments down below. I reply to every comment.